Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to homecoming of 2023 for the Culver Cavaliers. Tonight, they take on the Triton Trojans. Uh, last week for the Cavaliers wasn't wasn't quite uh, what we were hoping for. Uh, they showed some good things against the um, West Central Trojans, but West Central did come up on come out on top, obviously, 52 to 18. Some highlights from that game. Jack Rogers, 15 carries for 116 yards. A long of 53 yards and a touchdown and obviously and on an, and a kickoff return touchdown as well. Ethan Binion, four carries for 57 yards with a long of 60 and a touchdown. And tonight, they welcome the Triton Trojans for this homecoming matchup. We are going to take a little break before the coin toss and kickoff, and we will be right back. You're watching Culver Cavalier football on RTC TV4. My name is Private First Class Noah Pratt. I'm a 2022 graduate of Culver Community High School. I serve in the Indiana Army National Guard as a 74 Delta chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialist. There are several jobs in the Indiana Army National Guard that range from things such as band member to cook, all the way to infantry, pilots, paralegals, attorneys, finance specialists. It just depends on your job that you choose. I'm Sergeant First Class Dobson with the Indiana Army National Guard. If you're interested in your opportunities with us, please contact me at 574-261-2806. Go Cavs. Cool. Cavalier fans, here come the Cavaliers. On your feet. And as we get ready to welcome the Cavaliers, we're going to go through a quick uh, summary of statistics on the season for the Cavaliers. Uh, Passing-wise, as a team, the Cavaliers are 20 for 54. Much of the offense is produced by the kid running the front of the line, Jonas McEwen. Uh, 18 for 50 for 88 yards. Hayden Parker is the other player who's played quarterback position. He's thrown for a two for three for 12. Um, one thing that might, one thing of concern is the amount of turnovers that the Cavaliers have had this year. But some of that can be attributed to a younger offensive line. Cavaliers have 12 turnovers on the year. Uh, eight interceptions and four fumbles lost. Um, and a force three turnovers of their own, two fumbles. <clears throat> Recovered in an interception by Jonas McEwen. Rushing-wise, Jack Rogers leads the Cavaliers in rushing. 31 rushes for 244 yards, uh, averaging 8 yards a carry. 58 is his long, two games of 100 yards, and three touchdowns scored. <clears throat> Ethan Binion, 47 carries for 211. 
4.5 average. Six is his long carry. That came in the game against West Central last week, and that scored a touchdown. He has two touchdowns on the year. <clears throat> so as a team, Culver has carried 95 times for 512 yards, a 5.4 average, um, and uh, six rushing touchdowns on the year. And we are getting ready for the coin toss here at mid at midfield. Referees going over probably a sport uh, the rules of the game and maybe a little bit of sportsmanship stuff here. Still having a chat here. And um, Triton won the toss. They have deferred the option and Culver will receive to begin the game. So, Cavaliers will start the game with the ball on the other side of this timeout. Football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back! This is Friday night. This is Indiana High School Football. This is your IHSA. And the Cavaliers are getting some direction from the, from the coach before we get this game underway. Triton is set to kick off. That is going to be number... That'll be number two, Shively, set to kick off. Rogers. And Binion back deep to receive to begin tonight's ball game, this homecoming game. Waiting for the official signal to get this game underway. There it is. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the kick. Fielded by Parker. Cuts it back near side, and he'll be run out, run out, or brought down by Javon May and number um, Jay Nobermeyer. Number three was in there too. So the Cavaliers start first and ten. Jonas McEwen set to begin this game. They'll start this first possession from their own 30. McEwen got McEwen rolls out to his right. He's going to throw it out. It's Oh, it's picked. Oh my goodness. J Javon May. Oh, Shively was on the interception. May was in. And that is not the way we wanted to start. Some keys, I guess, for the Cavaliers would have been to protect the football. That is the big one. Trojans have first and goal from the Cavalier four. The ball was spotted at the four, so we got first and goal coming for the Trojans to begin. Shively takes a snap, hands it off to Prager on the carry, but there's a flag on the play. 42, that was uh, Prater, and we have a flag down. We got a holding on on the uh, Trojans. 
So we're going to have a 10-yard penalty from... It was behind the last scrimmage, so they're going to go back to the previous spot. So they're going to go back to the 14. It'll still be first and goal from there. So first and goal at the 14. First and goal from the 14. Shively <laughs> takes a snap, hands it off to Prater. Prater is going to be brought, well, held out by Parker. Zorich was there too to bring to finish the job. So we have a second and goal now. Ball is at the five. It looks like maybe a six. 11 minutes to go here. Or one yard line, sorry, not six. Second and goal from the one. And Shively scores. Touchdown Trojans. So... Shively is also here to is going to be set to kick the extra point. Gage rifle set is going to hold and well, they snapped before we were, before everyone was ready. So we'll we'll reset and we will try this again. Kick is up. Well, it's it's good. So, so it's at 10.49 to go in the first quarter. Triton 7, Cavalier 0. So we're going to take a break. We will be right back. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. And welcome back to Cavalier Field. Trojans take the interception and return it, for, or didn't return it, but did score three plays later. So we're gonna reset. We'll see. If, we'll see if um, we can recover from that interception. Shively set to kick. Rogers and Binion back deep to receive for the Cavaliers. Waiting for the official. There's a signal. Shively boots it deep. It's going to be fielded by Binion near side. It's going to be run out of bounds by, by Ben McFarland. So now it is, we're going to try this again. First and 10 now. Looks like about the same spot as last time too from about the 28. Jonas McEwen gets the call from the sideline. Kewen has Binion on his uh, right hip. Couple wide. Oh, that was Rogers. I stand corrected. Took a few. Took a few uh, Trojans to bring him down. Shively was the one who got to him first. So we are they gained about four yards. Four yards. Second and six. And six for the Cavaliers. You got it, girl. Woo! McEwen gets the call. Got three wide out. He got a couple wide out to his right, one wide to his left. Takes a snap. Hands it off to Rogers. Rogers makes a few guys miss. 
and gets out to the 41-yard line for a uh, Stitzel and Shively gets the tackle. It is a Cavalier first down. So a gain of six. McEwen set, takes a snap, hands it off once again, and it breaks free. Look at this, Rogers make. Oh man! Workman brings him down, but it is another Cavalier first down. So. A big run, probably, I'm going to guess, made about 32 yards, probably. Nine minutes to go here in the first quarter. McEwen hands it off to Binion. Binion makes a couple guys miss and does, gets down to the 30-yard line. So he got a gain of, or down to the 20-yard 20 20 yard line, so it's a gain of five. Second and five from the Trojan 20-yard line. They're in the red zone now. McEwen takes a snap, hands it off to Rogers. Rogers goes up the middle, brought down by Shively. But it's a first down for the Cavs. Ball is going to be marked. At the 10 yard line, so we're looking at a first and goal situation. McEwen is going to have Beam and Binion to his left and his brother Caleb to his right. And oh, we got some jump. We got a few jumps. See, it's an encroachment penalty. So it's a five yarder. It's going to move him just a little bit closer to the goal line. Field, Here we go. McEwen takes a snap, hands it off to Rogers. Rogers fights his way forward and did not make it. Gained about one. We have uh, a few Trojans who brought him down and a few Cavaliers who were trying to drag him forward. We have a second and goal from the four. Beam and Binion to the left and Caleb McEwen once again to the right. Rogers at, at McEwen's left hip, hands it off to him. Runs up the middle. Did he get it? No. Oh, flag down. Oh, it's an illegal formation penalty. So they're going to back him up a few yards. So they're going to go back to the nine. Officials will spot the ball at the Trojan nine-yard line. Second and goal from the nine for the Cavaliers. McEwen gets the call. We'll break the huddle. We're going to have Beam and Caleb McEwen to the left. No wide to the right. Binion's hands it off to Rogers. And nothing doing. Tackled by a host. Lost a yard on that play. Bring up a third down play, third and goal from the ten. Yeah, you would. If you can't score here, you got to at least get a little bit closer to the goal line for a fourth down play. You you got to. <clears throat> McEwen 
It's got Beam and his brother to his left. Oh, Beam to his right and his brother to his left. Both. Here's Rogers and, oh, he's going to break out to his left. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cavs. That's the way to do it. That's the way to answer back. They needed that after that uh, after the opening play, but they got it. And the Cavaliers are going to line up for a two-point conversion. Cavaliers are on for the two-point conversion. Do you want to start the clock on this or do we no, still no, just no, get no, it? No, you'll okay. wait until kickoff. Okay. So here, here we go. McEwen. Good. Take the snap. He's going to drop back to pass. Throws it out. And oh, too high for Binion. Incomplete. But Cavaliers do get some points back on the board. 7-6 Trojans at the 624 mark of the first quarter. My name is Private First Class Noah Pratt. I'm a 2022 graduate of Calder Community High School. I serve in the Indiana Army National Guard as a 74 Delta Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Specialist. There are several jobs in the Indiana Army National Guard that range from things such as band member to cook, all the way to infantry, pilots, paralegals, attorneys, finance specialists, it just depends on your job that you choose. I'm Sergeant First Class Dobson with the Indiana Army National Guard. If you're interested in your opportunities with us, please contact me at 574-261-2806. Go Cavs. Welcome back to Cavalier Field. Cavaliers trail 7-6, but they do answer the Triton touchdown with one of their own. On a very good play, or a very good drive, really, that was... Completely ran by uh, uh, Jack Rogers. 68 yards on that drive for Jack Rogers and obviously scored the uh, touchdown. So we're going to have Caden Herrera set to kick. Dante Workman and number nine, Cohen Hensley, back deep to receive. And number three, Jaden Overmeyer. Oh, and Overmeyer. I didn't see uh, Jaden Overmeyer, number three, that back there. All right, here's Herrera set to kick, waits for the signal. There it is. There's the, oh, it's a little squib kick. And it's dove on by number seven, Ben McFarland, who does recover. Ben McFarland downs the ball. Ball's going to be marked at the 37, first and 10 for the Cal uh, for the Trojans, I should say. All right. Shively relays the play. Dante Workman comes off the sideline. Here we go. Shively. Waits for the, takes a snap. He's going to drop back to pass. Throws it out deep. And, oh. Dante Workman. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. Wow. We had a Cavalier fall and Jonas unable to stop him. Wow. Okay. Shively set to kick the extra point. Shively on for the extra point. There's the signal. Kicks up. It is good. So... 6.07 to go. Very quick possession for the Trojans, and we will be back.
Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. All right, so <clears throat> one play possession for the Trojans leads to a touchdown. Cavaliers once again have to answer a very quick touchdown by the Trojans. So Shively set to kick, and once again, oh, that's Hayden that's Hayden Parker back deep now to receive. So they've uh, changed the uh, kickoff return a little bit for the Cavaliers here. Let's see, see if they bait them maybe to kicking into somebody they don't want to kick it to. Because Rogers and Binion are still back there too. Just Parker's the deep one. Here's the kick. Oh, it's deep. And that's going to be a touch. Well, yeah, touchback. So, Shively booted that through, well, bounced into the end zone, so the Cavaliers will take over at the 20. Cavaliers have the ball, first and 10 from their own 20. So here is McEwen. He gets the call from the sideline. McEwen takes a snap, tosses it out to Beam. Beam cuts it back. Oh, brought down for a, looks like it's going to be a short loss. Let's see where they mark it. They mark it as a two-yard or? They mark this as a two-yard loss. Ball's at the 18. Second down play. Second and 12 for the Cavaliers. All right. So now they got to play behind the sticks. McEwen. Will. Take the snap. Oh, lost the ball, but he does recover it. Or did he? Oh, he didn't recover it. Wow. Recovered by the Trojans. Javen May, number 85, is the one who came up with that. Wow. I, I don't know how Jonas didn't get that back. Ball's at the 12. It seemed like when, he, when the ball fell, the only person there was Jonas. Oh, man. 42. That's uh, Vincent Prater. Theron got the stop. Rogers as well. They did gain a yard. So, minimal gain. Ball is at the 11. Second and nine for the Trojans. Five minutes to go here in a very eventful first quarter. Shively. Takes a snap. Hands it off to Jay Overmeyer for a touchdown. So, uh, the Trojans once again able to take advantage of a Cavalier mishap. Shively in for the extra point. So, Shively once again set to kick the extra point off the hold of Riffle. Good snap, good hole kick is up. It is good. 
Ripple with the hold, Shively with the kick. So 4.30 to go here in the first quarter is Triton 21, Cavaliers uh, 6. My name is Private First Class Noah Pratt. I'm a 2022 graduate of Culver Community High School. I serve in the Indiana Army National Guard as a 74 Delta chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialist. There are several jobs in the Indiana Army National Guard that range from Things such as band member to cook, all the way to infantry, pilots, paralegals, attorneys, finance specialists. It just depends on your job that you choose. I'm Sergeant First Class Dobson with the Indiana Army National Guard. If you're interested in your opportunities with us, please contact me at 574-261-2806. Go Cavs. <laughs> well... Welcome back to Cavalier Field. 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. It is Triton 21, Culver 6. And Shively set to kick. Uh, Parker's back deep to receive. And in the second layer up is Binion and Rogers. Referees give the signal. Here's the kick. And is going to bounce to uh, Rogers. Rogers cuts it back near side. It's going to be brought down by 44. Kyle Cummins got him. And uh, ball will be marked at the 29 yard line. Amaya Williams, please report to the press box. First and ten for the Cavaliers. Just got, just got to take, you got to take care of the football here. Jonas flipping the play here. Going to move uh, the receivers to the other side, and we are going to have a timeout taken by the Cavaliers. Cavaliers. Here is the Cavalier Band. TV4 is proud to present the RTC TV4 Sports app. Now you can watch your favorite games and events from our local school partners live and on demand through your smart devices. And best of all, it's free. There's no cost to download or to watch. Just search RTC TV4 Sports on the Google Play Store, App Store, or on Roku and download now to start watching the local coverage you enjoy. So a little bit of confusion on that last play by the Cavaliers. They had to call a timeout to try to get things situated here. Um, they do have the touchdown, but they also have two, tur two turnovers, both of which very deep in their own, in their own territory. So... First and 10 Cavaliers, 421 to go here in the first quarter. McEwen is set to take the snap here. Tosses it out to Beam. Beam cuts it forward. Flag down. Flag on the play, so we're going to have... Knocked out of bounds to number two, Shively. Flag on the play. Let's see what we have here. Got a hold on the Cavs. Holding on the Cavaliers. So, it's at the 30, so it's going to be a 10-yard penalty from that spot. So, they're going to go back probably about to about the 20-yard line. So, that's going to bring up... Oh, no, they are going to go all the way back. Oh. 20 yard line. Okay, so it's first and 19 upcoming. Well, ball's at the 20, first and 19. Here's a snap, hands it off to Rogers. Rogers makes a man, well, brings down a man with him. Rogers on the carry, by Prater. Prater on the stop. Got a few of those penalty yards back. Gained about six. Well, 
Ball at the Cavalier 26 yard line. Second down play. Shane, she might be on this morning. Yeah, you That's what you said high last time. <laughs> Second and 13 for the Cavaliers. They need the 39 for a first down. Here's McEwen. Takes a snap. He's going to drop back the pass. Throws it. Oh, no, he te checks it down. Then he th now he throws it. And, oh, my. It is intercepted by Cohen Hensley. Chargers will have, Trojans will have the ball in their territory. First and 10 for the... Line. First time for the First Trojans at the 41. Man. <laughs> Binion had his hands on it, couldn't, couldn't uh, contain it, and it ended up in the hands of Cohen Hensley. So, third Cavalier turnover of the first quarter. Shively takes the snap. Oh, uh, no, keeps it. He'll keep it, makes Zorich miss, and he's going to be brought down by Colton Reisner. By number 75, Colton Reisner. So it's a first down for the tro Trojans at the 46 of the Cavaliers. This has been a very long first quarter. So Shively breaks the huddle. Here's the snap. Hands it off to number three. That's uh, Jaden Overmeyer. Got a pickup of seven. Caudill was the one who led the tackle. Ball's at the 40, so that's a gain of seven. Or no, gain of six. Shively takes a snap. He's gonna drop back the pass. Over through his receiver. David May was the intended target. So that's gonna bring up third down. And this is one thing that the Cavaliers need right now is they need these third down stops. So it's a third down play coming up. This is, um, here we go, Shively. Got the call, he's got Dante Workman out to his left. That's a player you gotta watch out for. He scored earlier. Runs up the middle, and it's a first down for, for uh, Vincent Prater. Picks up the just, first down. just picked it up. Ball or Ball line the game was the 36, and he got the 35, so just barely got it. Two minutes to go here in a very long first quarter. Here we go, Shively. Ball is at the at the Cavalier 35. Drops to, oh, oh my goodness. Ball's way up there, and Shively has to dive on it. That's a loss of, tw of 25. That is, that is going to bring up a second and 34. Officials spot the ball inside Triton territory. At the 41 yard line. Holy cow, wow. One minute to go. Oh, that almost went over his head, too. Good defense there by Hayden Parker. 
Parker on the coverage. Good job by Parker to make sure that he did not get to him too soon. Third and long. They need they need the Cavalier 25 for a first down. They are on their own 41. Here's a snap. He's going to drop back to pass again. Oh, they got to get someone out there. Flag down. Got, oh my goodness. Ball is marked at the 25. I, so we had the, I, I don't know what to say anymore at this point. Pass interference, oh, it's an offensive pass interference penalty. Pass interference on the Trojans. But it's a spot foul. Or is it going to go back to the uh, last spot? No, it is going all the way back. So it's a 10-yard penalty from there. That is a huge, huge break for the Cavaliers. That's another 10-yard mark off. They have oh, third and 44 upcoming. They have to go half the field for a first down. <laughs> Again, they need... They need their own 20. They need the Cavalier 25. They are on their own 25 now. Man. Okay. They cannot give this up. They need this stop. Shively does not want to make a mistake. Got to get him. Oh, man. Brought down hard by Rogers. That is the way to do it. Rogers absolutely lit him up. And that will end a very eventful first quarter. So that, it is Trojans 21, Cavaliers 6. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. Alright, so we're going to start the second quarter here and it is going to be a fourth and absolutely forever. You almost have to travel all the way back to Bourbon to get a first down. Let's hear it for the Cavalier cheerleaders. So this punt down play. We're going to have a fourth and 44. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get Here's Shively to punt. Vinny and Rogers back at the 35 to receive this punt. Here we go. Here's the punt. That's going to drop it out midfield. Oh, they got to get away from that ball. They cannot. Don't touch that. 
Do not. You cannot touch that now. They got to the. They got to the twenty or thirty-six. So they did. They. They didn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage on that set of downs. First and 10 for the Cavaliers. McEwen. Set for this possession. Here's a snap, hands it. Hands it off to, was that Rogers? No, he was, oh, he was, it's a good thing they declared that in the, uh, it's a good thing they declared that he was in the grass, but he was stopped by contact. Because that was, could have been a fumble. So no gain for, So no gain for Rodgers on the last play. McEwen takes a snap, hands it off, double handoff to Binion. Binion brought down by a couple of Trojans. So we're going to have a gain of two or one or two. Thirty-seven yard line, bring up a third down play. So looks like they, they picked up a yard. Hands it off to Binion. Binion's gonna try to cut up Mill. No, nothing there. Binion on the carry. Man, so that's a loss of two. Reynolds on the tackle. Reynolds gets the stop, and we're... Brings up a fourth down play for the Cavaliers. They... Set to punt for the Cavaliers is 40. There was no gap there for Benning to run through. That is... Dante Workman set to receive the, the Binion punt. Here's a snap, a little bit of a side. Oh man, that was almost, oh that's a great punt by Binion. Nice punt, we'll down him at about the 17 yard line. No, hang on, we got a flag down in the backfield. It's on us. They have the option of, I think, taking a five yard from the spot or maybe making us kick again. And they're going to make us kick again. It's uh, another illegal formation penalty. So we're going to. So they're going to re kick. Well, Ben, Ethan, I hope that your, I hope your, your mulligan, forced mulligan kick is just as good as your first. Cavaliers are set to kick again. Binion on to punt. Still deep is Workman. Workman Which once again, deep to receive. So let's see. Here's the, here's take two. High snap and uh oh, ooh man, almost. And a little bit of. Good save by Caleb to stop that from going further back. Prater almost got to that punt. But no flags this time, so Trojans are going to take over at the 44-yard line. Shively. Set to for this next possession. All right, let's see what happens here. Shively takes the snap, hands it off to 
I think that was Prater. 40, Prater, yeah, 42. Carrington and Logan Caudill both in that. And Drake Zorge was there too. Every. It's like a. <laughs> it was almost like watching uh, one of those little clown cars where you don't know how many people are going to get up after one. 8.45 to go here in the second quarter, going a little bit faster than the first. 10 on play clock, Shively. Number three, Overmeyer gets the first down. Logan Caudill was on that stop. Ball is at the 43 of the Cavaliers. Ball at the Cavalier 43 yard line where it will bring up a first and 10 for the Trojans. Let's go. So. <laughs> All right, here comes Shively and the Trojan offense. Here is the snap, tosses it back to Overmeyer. And nothing doing that time. Caleb McEwen and Jack Rogers on that stop. Gain of a pair. So we got a second and eight play upcoming here for the Trojans. All right, here we go. Shively. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the first half. That is, oh my. Prater on the carry. McEwen got him. Caleb McEwen got him. Ball's marked at somewhere between the 29 and the 30. First and 10. Oh, well, we got a little bit of downtime. We got, I want to give a little shout out to Casey Brace here running the scoreboard for us tonight in the place of Michael Skiles. And as always, Mr. Evans next to me running the play clock, as always. The boss. That was 42. That was Prater once again. Maybe short gain? No gain. Second down and 10 for the Trojans. So, Shively will break the huddle. That is Overmeyer. Overmeyer, oh man. Overmeyer, touchdown. Trojan touchdown by Jaden Overmeyer. Six, 15 to go. That, that was a, Overmeyer is a really fast guy and was able to, was able to cut it back really well for that touchdown. And here's Shively to kick the extra points. All right, here's the hold. Good snap, good hold. Kick is no good. It went wide left. So 6.15 to go. It is Triton 27, Cavalier 6. RTC TV4 is proud to present the RTC TV4 Sports app. Now you can watch your favorite games and events from our local school partners live and on demand through your smart devices. And best of all, it's free. There's no cost to download or to watch. Just search RTC TV4 Sports on the Google Play Store, App Store, or on Roku, and download now to start watching the local coverage you enjoy. Are you looking for a new set of wheels to get you from point A to point B? Mike Anderson in Rochester has exactly what you need to get you where you need to go. Whether you're looking for a new vehicle or a used one with great gas mileage, Mike Anderson in Rochester will be sure to fit you with your new dream ride. Stop on in for a test drive 
or call today at 574-498-2626 to see how Mike Anderson in Rochester can steer you in the right direction. Show off your school pride with help from... All right, welcome back to Cavalier Field. 6.15 to go. Triton leads 27-6 to over the Cavaliers. Shively set to kick. Parker back deep to receive. Ethan, ben Ethan Binion and Jack Rogers are the ones in front. Here's the kick. Deep kick. Oh, my goodness, that's going to land in the end zone. Wow. So that's a touchback. So it's going to be first and ten. Ball's marked at the twenty at the twenty yard line. Mm, she, I, I gave her a shout out and now she's trying to mess with me, saying the ball gets placed in the twenty five. Six oh nine to go. It's first and ten at the twenty. McEwen. Binion and Beam to Jonas's right. Oh, hands it off to Rogers. Cuts it back left, or cuts it back right, and he is brought down by, I think that was number nine. I think that, that was Hensley. No, uh, no gain. Still torn. All right, so second and 10, 5.40 to go here before halftime. McEwen. Oh. We'll take the snap. Hands it off to Rogers. Rogers cuts it out and brought down by, looks like it was Hensley again. And that was Warsham on that stop. And Warsham gets up a little bit uh, gingerly on that. So that's going to bring up a third down play. Third and 11 coming up for the Cavs. Five minutes to go here in the first half of play. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be having the uh, homecoming court and the coronation of the king and queen. Uh, well, it got flags down. So what we got? We got an encroachment penalty. Penalty on the Trojans. So, it's going to move them five yards closer for a first down. Officials spot the ball at the Cavalier. 34, 24-yard line. Ball's marked at the 24 of the Cavs. So, that's going to bring up a third and six. Third down play. Okay. McEwen, Rogers, oh, gets a little bit of a run up forward. Brought down by, that was uh, 42, that is uh, Vincent Prater. So now it's a fourth down. So it's going to be fourth, where are they at? So it's fourth and three. Well, I mean, what you would do maybe is run a don't run a play, but try to draw them off to get a, fir a free first down. If not, call a timeout and punt. Ooh, they get timeout is taken by the Cavaliers. So we're gonna be right back uh, for the Cav here on Cavalier um, football on Culver TV. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. All right, welcome back to Cavalier Field. Fourth and three upcoming after this timeout.
Cavaliers have the ball. Fourth and three. Here we go. Let's see. They are going to punt now. Ben is going to be back deep to punt. And that is going to be Dante Workman set to receive this punt. Here is the snap. Oh, he's going to fake it. And he's forced out. But I, I did not get it. I have a feeling, though, that maybe he did that because he thought that it was going to get blocked. I don't know. And Faust, Coach Faust was very unpleased with that. Threw his headset onto the ground. So it's a turnover on downs. That was a run for no gain by Binion. I just, I wonder if he felt like it was going to get blocked had he tried to punt that. So here is Shively. Oh, man, blown up by Rogers. He was not fooled by anything right and tried on that one. I lost three, I lost two or three. Ball mark at the 29 yard line. Brings up a second down play. Second and 12. Second and 12 upcoming. From the Cavalier 29. Uh, he's going to drop back to pass. Throws it out. Hayden Parker's there. Flag are going to come down, probably for pass interference. Well, did, that, did this near official throw a flag for the same penalty? This this is a back judge here threw a or not back judge. This uh, field judge threw a flag from the sideline. So let's see what we have. Pass, inter Pass interference on the Cavaliers. Oh, we have, we have offsetting penalties, it looks like. We have, an, we have a pass interference on us and an, and an un ineligible man downfield on the Trojans. So that's going to offset. So we're going we're gonna to replay the down, second and 12. Hayden Parker may have gotten, got a little bit... Uh, and bailed out the on that. Second and twelve. Three hundred seven 307 to go here in the first quarter, first first quarter, first half. Shively. Hands it off to Overmeyer. Overmeyer, oh man. Touchdown. Overmeyer in for the Trojan touchdown. Shively is, or not Shively, um, that's Overmeyer is, is torching us right now. Shively on for the extra point. <laughs> kick is up. It is good. Ripple on the hold. Shively on the kick. At the 2 minute 59 second mark of the second quarter, it's Triton 34. Uh, we will be right back. It's 34 6 in favor of the Trojans. CTV4 is proud to present the RTC TV4 Sports app. Now you can watch your favorite games and events from our local school partners live and on demand through your smart devices. And best of all, it's free. There's no cost to download or to watch. Just search RTC TV4 Sports on the Google Play Store, App Store, or on Roku, and download now to start watching the local coverage you enjoy. Are you looking for a new set of wheels to get you from point A to point B? Mike Anderson in Rochester has exactly what you need to get you where you need to go. Whether you're looking for a new vehicle or a used one with great gas mileage, Mike Anderson in Rochester will be sure to fit you with your new dream ride. 
Stop on in for a test drive or call today at 574-498-2626 to see how Mike Anderson in Rochester can steer you in the right direction. Show off your school pride with help from the winning edge. From customizable sportswear to engraving awards, the Winning Edge has what you need to help your team stand out from the others and highlight the achievements of your athletes. Call 574-223-6090 or visit their website at www. Through the end zone for a touchback. The Cavaliers will have the ball first and 10 from their own So the Cavaliers are going to take the ball first and 10 at the 20-yard line after another touchback. <laughs> Here we go. McEwen will get set for the next drive for the Cavaliers. They had a they had a touchdown in the first quarter that made the score seven six, but it has been all Trojans ever since. McEwen. He's going to roll it out. He's going to throw it. It is caught. Oh, no. Dropped by Kindernay. Well, that. That's a ball that probably, well, 20 on the play clock, 245 to go here in the first half. McEwen. will break the huddle. It's five on the play clock. Need to hurry. Okay. Going to drop back to pass. Throws it. Oh, oh, man. That is a... That's a play that doesn't need to be made by Shively down there. He trucks somebody standing on the sideline. Watch out on the sideline down there. Caden <laughs> Herrera standing on the sideline got ran over by Shively. Brings up a third down play. So it is third and ten. McEwen is going to toss it out to Beam. Needs to get some blockers in front and brought down by that was Dante Workman, number 12. Gain of one. So, two, ten to go. And the punt unit will come on for the Cavaliers. Workman set to return. Here's the oh low punt. Oh, got the punt. Got the punt off. Ball gets to the 48. Forty-nine is where they're going to mark it. First and ten Trojans just before halftime. So. Trojans get one more chance before halftime here. A score here probably triggers a running clock in the second half. So here is Shively. Hands it off to hands off to Ben McFarland, number seven, and we are going to have a timeout taken, more than likely by the Trojans. Trojans. TV4 is proud to present the RTC TV4 Sports app. 
Now you can watch your favorite games and events from our local school partners live and on demand through your smart devices. And best of all, it's free. There's no cost to download or to watch. Just search RTC TV4 Sports on the Google Play Store, App Store, or on Roku, and download now to start watching the local coverage you enjoy. Are you looking for a new set of wheels to get you from point A to point B? Mike Anderson in Rochester has exactly what you need to get you where you need to go. Whether you're looking for a new vehicle or a used one with great gas mileage, Mike Anderson in Rochester will be sure to fit you with your new dream ride. Stop on in for a test drive or call today at 574-498-2626 to see how Mike Anderson in Rochester can steer you in the right direction. So during the timeout, we had a clock reset to, I think they had one second back onto the clock. Sively, oh, makes a guy miss. Jonas was unable to stop him. And that's a touchdown for Workman. So 40 to six now is our score. 122 to go before halftime. So here comes Shively, kick the extra point. I like how realistic you are. Like, that is truly a realistic. Here is the kick. Kick is up. It is good. So with 122 to go before halftime, it is 41 to 6 in favor of the Trojans. Football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty. And I just want to say, welcome back. This is Friday night. This is Indiana High School Football. This is your IHSA. Well, 122 to go here before halftime. Barring a Cavalier score before halftime, we will be in a running clock situation in the second half. Hayden Parker back deep to receive for the Cavaliers. Shively set the kick. Wait for the signal. There it is. Here is the kick. High kick is going to be fielded by Parker at about the five-yard line. He's going to cut it back to near side. Gets a nice block and is forced out of bounds by, by uh, Benson Prater. So we're going to have a first and ten for the Cavaliers with just, on, just over one minute to go. Spot the ball. In the first half, balls being marked at about the 26 7 yard, 26 yard line. 26 yard line, first and 10, Cavaliers. All right, Jonas McEwen takes a snap. Gonna hand it off to Rogers. Rogers makes a few makes a few guys miss. He gets out to the 32 yard line. Tripped up by number 39. Connor Stetzel. Connor Stetzel on the stop. So they're gonna get looks like he got about six on that play. And it looks like Well, here's McEwen. Rogers bounces far side is going to be brought down after a short gain, maybe of about two. And that more than likely will bring us to the end of this first half of play. 
And that is it for the first half. Triton 41, Cavalier 6. Cavalier fans, it's now time for our homecoming festivities. We will go ahead and take a short break before... before Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Trans uh, it was 30, uh, 30, the 34 to 16, at half, just before halftime at LaVille. And uh, Winnemac and North Judson are tied at zero right now, just before halftime over there. Um, let's see, we have, I had a, I had a Rochester score on here somewhere earlier. Oh, it's 30 nut. Well, it says 30 nothing, Laville at halftime. It's 30-14 now. Oh, okay. 30-14 just in the middle of the third quarter right now. Okay. Uh, we have 38. Oh, <laughs> well, we can't we can't figure out what the Laville score is right now. It's 30 nothing. Score correction. That was Laville 30. Cast zero. Um, Rochester is up 38 to six on Lewis Cass. It's still Polydee's Warriors zero, North Judson zero at the half. Um, also, we lost the audio during the uh, halftime break just before um, just before, uh, during the homecoming celebrations, and I apologize uh, for that. So we're getting ready to kick off here to start the third quarter. Cavaliers will kick off. Caden Herrera set to kick off here. Caden Herrera set to kick for the Cavaliers. We have number eight, looks like, number Workman 12. Deep for the Trojans. Workman, deep to receive. Still waiting for to get started here. So... Not even the year we told. <laughs> we're, we're, we are waiting for, I don't know what we're waiting on here. All right, Caden Herrera has the ball teed up. Since this is a 35-point difference, the, run, the running clock rule is in effect for the second half. All right, there's the signal. Oh, what in the world was that? And it will be fielded. That's by number six, 85. Javen May. Javen May. So it's first and 10 Trojans. Officials will mark the ball in Trojan territory. Ball will be marked at about the 42. At the 42-yard line, first and 10, Triton. Arthur's still here. So it looks like we have a new quarterback in, in the game for the Trojans. It's number 10. Gage Riffle is now the quarterback for the Trojans, so Shively's night must be done. But it uh, looks like uh, Overmyers is not. But there is a flag down. Got a hold on the Trojans. So that's going to be a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. So we're going to be looking at a first and 20 for the Trojans.
penalty will go on the Trojans. We'll back them up. Ball marked at the 32-yard line. <laughs> All right, here we go. On this this uh, September afternoon, homecoming night once again for the Cavs. 42. That was uh, Prater on the carry for the uh, Trojans. Ball's going to be marked at the 36. Brings up a second down play. From so Trojans, gain, of, gain of four. So we're looking at second and 16. <laughs> All right. Um, 10 on the play clock. Riffle takes the snap. Fumble. Fumble on the play. Who has it? Oh, play. recovered by the Trojans. Recovered by Prater. Prater was the one who saved uh, the turnover, so he they so did lose some yards. Play. Lost about, looks like we're right back to where they started. The so they're back to third and 20 now. Nine minutes to go. Okay, uh, ignoring the antics in the press box once again. Whoa. Looks like a little bit of a toss out, but. Uh, Overmeyer on the carry, tackled by Seven Parker. Got, got to just about midfield. May have gotten. Did he make midfield? No, about two yards, three yards short of midfield. Gain of 15. So it is going to bring up fourth down for the Trojans. Fourth and five. And five. For the Trojans. Coach Evans says five, uh, six. I'm, going, I'm still going with five. It looks like the four is right in between the two chains, right, right in between the two markers. Well, that one yard didn't make a difference. It's a they're going to turn it over on downs. So they got what they got what they needed, a turnover on downs. Rogers forces it. So Jonas McEwen set for his for the first Cavalier possession of the second half. So here comes Jonas McEwen. Oh, man. Uh, Rogers going to take the carry. And, oh, jeez. That was 59. Lemler on that stop. Lost three. Loss on the play. Officials mark the ball inside Cavalier territory. At the 49-yard line. Brings up a second down play. Second and 13. Shotgun for McEwen. Takes a snap. Binion carries it out to the left. Man. Lost more yards. Shively. Shively. Well, Shively's night may have been done on the offense then, but not on the defensive end. Lost two more. So it is third and 15 coming up for the Cavaliers. and 15. For the Cavaliers. <laughs> McEwen breaks the huddle. Third and 15. Three on the play clock. Need to hurry. Jonas rolls out. Throws it out deep for Caleb McEwen. And it is, oof. 
is dropped by dropped by uh, Dante Workman. Workman on the cover. So it is going to bring up fourth down now for the Cavs, and looks like they are going to punt. Binion set to punt. Workman set to receive. Workman back to receive. All right. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Oh, my. A bad snap leads to fumble on the play. Binion on the return. Tackle by Alex Brown. So that is a turnover on downs. Trojans will have the ball. And that is going to start deep at the 19 of the Cavaliers. Grand Slam in two weeks. Wow. And it's the Royals. No, right. it's the Twins. Right on par. Twins are beaten. All right, that's 22. That is Ryder Gayhart on the carry. Wow, he's still fighting forward. Ball's out. Wait, the ball come out? Gayhart on the carry. No, well, they recovered it. If it was a fumble, Triton recovered it. Picks up some tough yards. There was a fumble on the play, but recovered by the Trojans. Ball got to the, the 14-13, so again, we're going to give it a the call it a gain. At the Cavalier, yard we're going to call it a gain of six. So, second, down, second and four. And four for the Trojans. Down to three on the play clock. Here's a snap. That was 30 something. 39. Stetzel on the carry. Stetzel got that, and it was a short, short gain or no, no gain. They're going to call it no gain. Third and four upcoming for the Trojans. Three, just under three minutes to go here in the third quarter of play. Oh, Caleb McEwen absolutely blasted Riffle in the backfield. Wow. And here comes the field goal unit. Looks like they lost a couple, so let's see. They're going to mark the ball at the, they're at about the 15. 15, 30, about 33 yard field goal. Here's the kick. Oh, it's blocked. It is blocked. And we have an injured Trojan. I don't know who got the block, but. So, um, I'm not sure what the rule is on a blocked field goal in high school football. It went to the end zone, but I don't think that matters. Is it a touchback or? Yeah, you can, well, I think you can recur, I think you can return a block, oh no, hang on, there's a flag down. They just threw a flag. Flag on the play. Hold on a second. What do we have here? Well, let's see what we have. We have a personal foul on the Cavaliers. 
That's a dead ball foul, though, so that happened after the play. But they, it should be after the play, so I don't think it's a – it's still a turnover. Yeah, Cavalier ball. So they did lose – so it's still a turnover. So – so what are we going to have here? So what are we going to – now where are we going to mark the ball? We are – Ball got marked at the, at the 10. So it was a touchback, and they, they marked it back 10 yards. Ninety seconds to go here in the first in, in the first quarter. In the third quarter. Hey, you told me to. That was uh Rogers. Rogers on the carry. Tackled by a host of Trojans. Gained second down play. Three or two or three yards. Three yards. So we're going to have second and seven. Rogers cuts it out, cuts it out. Oh, Rogers nice run by Rogers. First down. Ball was marked at the 21, so that's an eight-yard pickup. Picks up the Cavalier first down. And more than likely, that will end the third quarter. So, third quarter comes to an end with the score, Cavaliers 6, Trojans 41. We'll be right back. You're watching Cavalier Football on Culver TV and RTC TV 4. My name is Private First Class Noah Pratt. I'm a 2022 graduate of Culver Community High School. I serve in the Indiana Army National Guard as a 74 Delta Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Specialist. There are several jobs in the Indiana Army National Guard that range from things such as band member, to cook, all the way to infantry, pilots, paralegals, attorneys, finance specialists. It just depends on your job that you choose. I'm Sergeant First Class Dobson with the Indiana Army National Guard. If you're interested in your opportunities with us, please contact me at 574-261-2806. Go Cavs. All right, so we're going to go into the fourth quarter here. All the way up here. Did they forget there's a third quarter? You missed the whole third quarter. And the cheerleaders are back with T-shirts. <laughs> no, we're we're going to start first and ten for the Cavaliers at, the, at their own 21 as we begin the fourth quarter of play here. So let's see if they can get... One more, one more score here to. One more score just to go on. McEwen hands it off. That's Tony Summers. Tony Summers on the carry. Summers gained. No, uh, no, he didn't gain anything. So it's no second and ten. Second and ten for the Cavaliers. Rogers' night is done. Beam! Oh my goodness! 
And he is he is hurt. He is hurt. Kyle Cummins came in hard on him. And that is not good. He took a shot right to the head. Good luck the rest of the season, brother. Thank you guys too. Thank you. Wow. I I don't know. Shively on from the extra point. Shively to kick the extra point. Kick is high and it's good. But 48 48 6 is our score. Nine thirty one to go here in the uh, fourth, quarter. fourth quarter. It's Triton forty eight Cavaliers six. My name is Private First Class Noah Pratt. I'm a twenty twenty two graduate of Colvin Community High School. I serve in the Indiana Army National Guard as a seventy four Delta chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialist. There are several jobs in the Indiana Army National Guard that range from things such as band member to cook, all the way to infantry, pilots, paralegals, attorneys, finance specialists. It just depends on your job that you choose. I'm Sergeant First Class Dobson with the Indiana Army National Guard. If you're interested in your opportunities with us, please contact me at 574-261-2806. Go Cavs. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so 9.31 to go here in the fourth quarter. Workman set to kick. Back deep is Kinderney and Gonzalez. Kinderney and Gonzalez back deep to receive. Here's the kick. 
going to be fielded by Gonzalez. Oh, a little bit muffed, but he picks it up, and he cuts it back near side, or far side, and he is brought down by... <laughs> so... First and 10 Cavs at the, where are we at here? The 20? 21. 21 yard line. From their own 21 yard line. McEwen comes back out. Beam, well, that, if, if that's a, any good indication, Beam is back in the game, so. McEwen takes a snap, hands it off to Gonzalez. Oh, undercut by, that was number nine, I think, who brought him down there. Yeah, number nine. So lost, he actually lost a yard on that play. Or no, no gain, no gain. Fumble. Third down, so. Summers on the carry, fumble on the play, recovered by Summers. Lost a yard, so it brings up third down. It's 7.40 to go here in the ball game. Here is Jonas, ready to take the snap. Summers on that carry. And brought down by a few Trojans. So lost another yard, it looks like, on that play. They, they need, yeah, they're going to bring out the punt. Ethan Binion set the punt. Binion set the punt. That deep for the Trojans is number. I believe that's 22 back. The, yeah, 22, 22 back. He he turned the Ryder Gayhart. He, he turned. Oh my goodness. Safety. That is a safety. Ball fumbled into the end zone for a safety. So, um, so honestly, though, I'm going to – they gave up two, but they are going to be able to free kick from the 20. So – but that's no good out of that, obviously. But – So they're going to have a kick from the 20 coming up here in a second. And Cavalier Athletes of the Week, Jacob Ringer and Giselle Villegas. So let's hear it for our Athletes of the Week, Jacob Ringer and Giselle Villegas. 50 to 6 is our score right now. All right, so they are going to. Herrera is going to kick off from the 20 after the safety. Back deep is Workman. Workman back deep to receive.
So here's Herrera set to kick off. Oh. Kicked it straight to Zach Rensberger. Rensberger. The Trojans will have the ball inside Cavalier territory, first and ten. Ball's going to be marked at about the 30-yard line. Man, okay. First and ten Trojans. Riffle set to take the snap. Gayhart on the carry. Gayhart on the carry. I think it was Drake Zorich got him after a gain of five. So we're going to look at second and five here. Five minutes to go here in the ball game. 44, that is Kyle Cummins on that carry. Cummins on the carry. Came up just a little bit short of a first down here. It's going to bring up a third down, third and one, one or two. Third and two. Trying to rip the ball free, but stopped on that. That was uh, Gayhart once again is a first down for the Trojans. Arian Day, Arian Day on the stop. Four minutes to go. All right. So, first and 10 play, 22 again, Gayhart once again. It's going to be stopped at the 7, 6. Dominic Lefebvre on the stop. Gain of 6, so we're looking at a second and 4. So, after tonight's game, the Trojans will be t traveling to Pioneer, and then they will host North Judson in two weeks. And there's another touchdown for the Trojans. Kyle Cummins. Cummins in for the Trojan touchdown. For here is the are they gonna they're gonna go for they're gonna go for two well, they are gonna go for two Twenty. Oh man, Gay Hart's in. The conversion is is successful. Two oh nine to go. It is Trojans fifty eight, Cavalier six. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly seven thousand patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there.
All right, 209 to go. Cavaliers are set to receive. <clears throat> that is. Say 82, 82 set to kick off. Brant Blackford. Blackford on to kick for the Trojans. Kinderney and Gonzalez back. Gonzalez and Kinderney deep. Gonzalez and Kinderney back deep to receive. Waiting for the signal. There it is. Here is the kickoff. And that is going to go out of bounds. So. So they're going to mark the ball. I think the 35 is where they mark it on a kickoff out of bounds. So Jonas is going to come back out for one last possession. Anybody going to the homecoming dance, please enter through door number 16. Door number 16 for the so homecoming. So the Trojans are going to Trojans of, are going to spoil homecoming night for the Cavaliers here tonight. Culver's upcoming schedule. A couple of away games the next couple of weeks. They travel to Winnemac next week, and then they travel to Casson the week after. Summers carry. will carry. Clock falls under one minute. So, looks like a gain, to, gain of one. And in all likelihood, this will be the last play of the game. <laughs> no one no one likes me saying that because I always jinx it whenever I say that. <laughs> Jonas hands it off to Summers. Summers on the carry. Lost a yard. And That will do it. That's the end of tonight's game. Final score. Final score, 58-6 in favor of the Tritons. Tritons, in favor of the Trojans. Um, I hope you join us for our next broadcast in two week, in three weeks when the Cavaliers host the Pioneer Panthers. Um, I hope you all have a great uh, evening, great weekend, and I we will see you next time on RTC TV4 and Cavalier TV. Yeah.